Welcome back to Dateline Philippine Sunday. As the country celebrates Independence Day today, historians remind us all Filipinos play an active role in shaping our country's history. Michelle Ong takes a look at the famous painting by Juan Luna and its significance in Philippine history. If it's true that a picture paints a thousand words, then this 1892 Juan Luna painting, The Parisian Life, could probably speak volumes about Philippine history. This is the interior Don Cafe. At first glance, the painting shows a lone Parisian lady sitting at a cafe, while three men look on from a corner. But, as historian Michael Shaochua explains to us, in one interpretation of the painting, the woman could actually be Filipinas. The interpretation says, ito ay mirror image ng mapa ng Pilipinas. Pagka ibinaligtad mo ang mapa ng Pilipinas, mag-fit siya sa babae. At ito naman yung makikita natin doon sa specifications ng painting. At yung Batanes Islands ay magiging luha ng babae doon sa painting. Look closely and you will see, directly on the womb of the lady lies Bulacan, where the Malolos Constitution was born. And on the lady's knee is Cebu, where the first Filipinos were baptized, marking the start of Catholicism in the country. Now look at the line cutting across her head and her dark-colored neck. The image conveys a message of bondage. Ang sama mo ang dark-colored na neck at ang linya sa itaas ng babae, makikita mo na parang nakabigti ang babae. So noong 1892, nung pinainting ni Juan Luna ang painting na ito, no? We are in deep trouble. The woman may appear sitting alone inside the cafe, but the presence of a male hat, coat, and two glasses of drinks, one filled and one almost empty, suggests she is with a man. Ayon dun sa interpretasyon, nagkakaroon ng um, pagsasamantala. No? So ang interpretation, ng, ang interpretasyon ng mga tao, ito ay ang Espanya. Ang kanyang kasama ay ang Espanya na umalipin sa atin. But according to the painting, the lady is not without rescue. After all, there were three men looking at her from across the room. Juan Luna, Ariston Lin, and the man with the half-turned face, our very own national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Over 300 years under Spanish rule, another 50 under the Americans. And then, for almost four years, we were under the Japanese. Philippine history is rich in strife and struggles, but is also rich in heroism. Historian Dr. Celestina Boncan says history is as real and urgent as our everyday survival, and that each one of us must find our rightful place in it. Many Filipinos think that they do not learn or they do not gain anything out of learning from Philippine history. It is as if uh, history is an intangible that cannot fill up the stomach, it cannot make one full, uh, it cannot wipe away hunger. But, but you know, uh, history or learning or understanding our history is the spirit that will drive our people to, be, to become great. According to Chua, by Western standards, we are free. After all, we have the territory, sovereignty, government, and people. But by Andres Bonifacio's standard, where independence is also measured by the quality of life of each Filipino, perhaps not yet. 1898 at 2011, ano ba ang nagbago? Meron. Pero ang bayan, kung titignan natin, ay nakalugmok pa din. So ang tatlong bayani ay kinakausap tayo sa pamamagitan ng painting na ito. Nakalugmok pa rin ang bayan. Ano ang gagawin mo tungkol dito? Dr. Bongkan says that the only way we can be a great nation is if each of us awaken the hero within. Our little ways of heroism that we can do. So this is the thing that makes a country great. And if we are 90 million Filipinos, can you just imagine if all of us will be uh, can measure up to the levels of heroism, then we can be a great country. Every year for a day, we look back at the great men and women who have offered the best of themselves for the country. These are the men and women who have sacrificed their time, their talents, and ultimately their lives so that we may have the gift of freedom. But 113 years after, the most important question remains. 
Are you worth it? Michelle Long, ABS-CBN News. When we talk about Independence Day, we remember...